So what you're looking at here is a 100k ohm resistor, 100,000 ohms, 0.05%. The size of the device is a 0603. Gonna attempt to put that on this board right here. I've already done three of them. So I just got this last little spot here next to the five there to put another one on that thing. So I managed to get my 100k resistor soldered on here, right down here. So now what I have is a 100 ohms, 1000 ohms, 10,000 ohms, and 100,000 ohms soldered onto this little carrier board because the little resistors themselves are so small you sneeze you're gonna lose them in the carpet. So it's just on a carrier board and this is basically just going to be a resistance standard for me. Um, you know it might be glorifying it a bit to be calling it a standard but it's definitely the best tolerance uh, resistors that I have. These are all 0.05 percent and the four of these resistors none of them cost more than 20 some cents a piece. So that plus the board and this came in one of these kits here with all kinds of boards. So for less than two dollars I've got something that I can check my multimeters with and uh, these are separated from each other so they're there are, um, the pins here are for one resistor only. I did not put any of them together. So this gives me some place that I can stick my probe tips into is these little holes right here and uh, gives me an idea of how well my uh, multimeter might be doing. So let's go check some of them out. So first up here we can see a Fluke 77 Series 1. I bought this brand new back in oh, the mid 80s sometime and uh, let's see how it's doing. There's a thousand ohms. We go down to the hundred here. There's what it thinks a hundred ohms is. 10k. Well, it's doing pretty good. And uh, there's a hundred k. Yeah, that's really something for a meter that's about 40 years old and has never been serviced. So, not too bad. So I was checking out a bunch of my meters and I was kind of saving the HP for last. And uh, it's got some uh, weird things going on. When it's on um, automatic auto ranging, I'll stick it on the 100 ohms here. And you'll see that it keeps going down. It doesn't stop at a value. And then when I go over to the 1K, it's way out. It tells me it's about 900 ohms. Unless... I go and put it on manual ranging and there we are 1000.1 ohms and uh, if I go over to the 10k 9.9983 more than sufficient more than good enough and uh, let's, let's try the 100k now remember I'm still on manual ranging here 100k so 99.98 call it so Something weird going on with that that 1K there. So here we have some results. Um, it's unfortunate that the HP has got problems. It's unreliable. I was really hoping to use it as kind of a standard, but that's the way things go. At least it was a successful thing because this little um, standard, if you want to call it that, my reference here, uh, showed something wrong. And I have reasonable confidence in the reference because of all the other values that I have here. And possibly one of the most uh, surprising things is my Fluke 77 here, given these sorts of numbers. Now, you, that doesn't mean it's an absolute accuracy because we don't have anything, I don't have anything to reference this against that's much better than this. But for my workbench basically it tells me that pretty much every meter here is more than accurate enough for anything that I'm going to be doing and uh, I'm surprised again with this being 40 years old almost uh, maybe it might be more than that um, just how close this is and uh, the decimal points that you see here or the numbers that's what was on the screen so that's just the way this works this unity here gave me 0 0.998k so that's why that doesn't doesn't have another decimal point over there. But other than that, it's worth the two bucks. Why not?